What is going on guys, welcome to Same Old Everton and this evening we're going to be talking about Donny van der Beek. Whose stats you might ask? Well, surely you know who he is. Manchester United midfielder, not really got a reputation as a Manchester United midfielder, more as a former Ajax midfielder because let's be honest, since he's joined Manchester United, he's practically been a ghost to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Only four starts in the Premier League under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the last two years. Signed from Ajax, um, was obviously part of that uh, young Ajax team that made it to the Champions League final. He was um, really a top player for them uh, during that uh, Champions League season alongside the likes of Dusan Tadic, uh, David Neres and so on. David Neres, remember that name? We used to be linked with him every 10 minutes a few years ago, but now we're talking about Donny van de Beek, a man who has, at Manchester United, not been able to rise to the potential that maybe he wanted to. Why? Because simply he's not been gained the game time. He was signed uh, two years ago from Manchester United, and I think a lot of Manchester United fans looked at this and said, what a bloody signing, what a signing he is, because he was linked with the likes of Liverpool and so on, so many massive teams in Europe. Manchester United managed to uh, get him uh, while the fire was still hot. But that fire has slowly turned to embers before somebody decided to pour a bucket of water over it and pretty much kill it completely. Because Donny van de Beek, up until a week ago, uh, Manchester United against Villarreal, some footage was released that von, uh, van de Beek was very frustrated at the decision uh, from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to not bring him onto the pitch for the game. And I understand Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the manager, he makes the decisions. But I can see the frustration. He's not been getting the game time he wants. He's a top player, no doubt about it. He may not have a lot of Premier League experience and a lot of that goes down to the game time he's had at Manchester United. But he's simply not had the chance, um, which is very frustrating to look at. It's such a waste of talent at somebody who was so good at Manchester or Ajax, sorry, and now you're looking at him over the last two years at Manchester United, he's not existed. Yeah, he's made a, a few appearances in the domestic cup competitions, maybe in some of the European competitions, and then about four or five appearances in the Premier League. I remember when he scored a goal, his uh, debut goal against Crystal Palace for Manchester United. I'm thinking to myself, he's going to be some player for Manchester United. But since he scored that goal, he's had nothing to say. He's had nothing to enjoy about his time at Manchester United because he simply hasn't existed there. He's not been given the game time he wants and you can see the frustration there. Now, over the last few weeks, and it's not even just the last few weeks, but over the last few months, Everton have been linked with Donny van der Beek. During the summer, late on in the summer transfer window, Everton were reportedly interested in bringing Don, uh, Donny van der Beek to Everton uh, on a one-year loan deal, which I think would have made a lot of sense considering he wasn't getting the game time he wanted at Manchester United. It didn't seem like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was going to change that anytime soon. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of Evertonians would agree with that signing, considering you're looking at the depth of that team. It seemed clear that Rafa Benitez was intent on bringing on another few attack-minded players. And I think Van de Beek, despite his lack of Premier League experience, would have been a fantastic signing for Everton this season. But, last minute, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer rejects the move to Everton for Donny van de Beek. And a lot of frustration came with that. Um, a lot of expectations were also made from that, that Donny van de Beek was going to be in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's plans. And yeah, he's been on the bench quite a few times. He's made a few appearances here and there, but not enough appearances. And I know there's a lot of quality in that Manchester United team. There's a lot of depth in that Manchester United team. And maybe it's simply a case that Donny van de Beek is not going to rise up to the quality of some of these players. But it's not as if he's been given much of a chance. Like said, a few cup competitions, a few European appearances, but nothing in the Premier League, nothing like that at all. And you can see the frustration from both the Manchester United supporters and Donny van de Beek himself. Now, I think Manchester United supporters want to see Donny van de Beek play more often. And, you know, I want to see him play more often for Manchester United. But it doesn't look like that's going to change any time. Now, there's been a lot of debate. Uh, the likes of Fabrizio Romano has come out talking about his future at Manchester United. 
it's pretty clear based off some of the reports we've heard, some of the rumours we've heard, that Everton are still interested in Donny van der Beek and are very intent on making them a main target in January, uh, bringing them to the club. And I look at this and say, absolutely, it makes complete sense for us to go get Donny van der Beek. Um, many reasons. First of all, I think we need a player like Donny van der Beek. It's been a while since we had a player like Donny van der Beek. Um, you look at the quality we've got on the bench and yeah, I know we have quite a lot of injuries at the moment and once we have all our players back, that's obviously, that bench is going to start improving more and more again because I think we've got four or five main players out at the moment, first team players out. But that being said, I still think we need quality in that number 10 role. I know Demar Gray's done such a good job since uh, coming to Everton in that number 10 role. It's not just out on the wing, but it's also as a number 10, where Damari Gray has been really impressive. And I see why we'd keep him in that position. But I think we need that competition in there, even as a player from the bench who can impress. Obviously, the question would be is that, is Donny van der Beek looking at this as his last chance to impress uh, Manchester United and stay at Manchester United where he can impress under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, providing that Solskjaer stays at the club for the long term. So would uh, Donny van der Beek move to Everton on loan just to impress Manchester United to get more game time or a permanent move? Because obviously, you know, I think time will eventually run out for Donny van der Beek at Manchester United, especially if only Ole Gunnar Solskjaer stays at the club for the next uh, season, uh, for the rest of the season as well. Like, I think Donny van der Beek is really running out on uh, the sources he has, the options he has. I think January would a January transfer move would be sensible, whether it's a loan move or a permanent move. But Everton are clearly interested in them. And I would look at uh, Donny van der Beek and say, why shouldn't we sign him? Um, I think it makes absolute sense. Why Manchester United decided not to give him uh, us in January? I don't understand. Are they looking at it saying that is competition for Everton? That they uh, Manchester United don't want to give to Everton? Or is it a case that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really had intentions to use Donny van der Beek in the team? It's one of the two. But to be honest, we've not seen enough of uh, Donny van der Beek under Solskjaer this season. And it's pretty clear that Donny van der Beek wants to leave Manchester United. And it's going to take a lot of convincing for him to stay at the club. Especially now until January if Donny van der Beek is not getting the game time he wants. And to be honest, even though I can't predict the future, I'm going to assume that he's not going to be getting the game time he wants. So... Let me know your thoughts on that. Would you take Donny van der Beek at Everton? I would say absolutely. I think he's a player we need at Everton. Um, just to add more competition up front. That quality in the attack. Like I said, he's not got a lot of Premier League experience. But no doubt he can bring quality to this team. I absolutely, I absolutely can think that. And I don't think a lot of Everton fans would disagree with that. I think there are Manchester United fans that would say, we should just let him go. We're just ruining this man's career. He's not going to get a chance at Manchester United. He should just move on for the best of his career. Some will say, no, we should wait. We should give him the chance. Once he starts thriving, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will start using him. It's one of the two, like I said. But... I don't see a future for Donny van der Beek at Manchester United, mainly down to the competition and for this reason that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, even last season, before they bought the likes of Sancho and Ronaldo, he's not been used in that team enough. So, let me know your thoughts on that. Would you take uh, Donny van der Beek from Manchester United to Everton? Let me know your thoughts on it. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all very much for your support and I'll see you all later.